M0 FXP Radtail RT4D. There is some new software. If you just look here on the left, move this out of the way, and we'll go down and firmware saying, look, 3.16. Okay, there's some clear instructions here that say so you don't get an error when you read and write with the CPS. After updating the new firmware, do not read it directly. You need to use the CPS to re-edit the frequency or import CV CSV and then write it. Well, I have saved. I've gone to my CPS here. Move this out of the way. <coughs> and um, I've saved. I've got a file. I've, you know, from an old reading, file, save. Just put it in my downloads for now. 4DD, save. And I've also looked at the change log, which is mainly in Chinese, but you can pick out the odd word here. Uh, so it's got promiscuous here, digital set chord show, set carrier LED, uh, and that's it. So it, it, I feel like it's possibly improved the promiscuous. But anyway, so let's just run it. I'll close down this CPS. Now I have already, this is actually the new CPS. Uh, I've, I just wondered if it would read. So about, and look, it's version 1.23. I'm just gonna close it a minute and just show you over here that the new CPS. That's interesting because I clicked it from here. So CPS means programming software. Yeah, and I clicked it here, and look, it's actually 1.22, but it's coming up as 1.23. We've definitely got the new CPS. So then we clicked here, 3.16. Click that, and it went to my downloads folder, which is just here. And then when you double click the one that's called the RT4D upgrade, that ends 505, is it? You get this window like so and then this is where i saw the the change log and then here's the upgrade so i'm going to look there are actually two files there let's look at both not sure why it's showing two hex upgrade whatever that is all right let's go back so one is called DMR upgrade and the other one's called RT4D upgrade. Interesting. So we double click that, more run anyway. And so connect, we know the COM is eight. So right click device manager. Just uh, double click port. Where's that gone? Com eight just here. So we're going to go com eight. The update process is identical to my UV ninety eight or my Radtail eight eighty. So it's already got the firmware in there. Com eight. Connect. Turn off the radio. And hold the PTT. I'll keep my hand out of the way. And turn on the light just goes green black screen quite dark there isn't it? so and then eight and then we'll go upgrade and if we're right these numbers at the bottom will start to move and at the moment they're not I'll try again okay on the second try it worked I am using a twin pin cable just here both fun cable so that's going in. Then I'm going to look at what the other upgrade is. Because um, I think I'm going to run it. I may as well. Even though I don't actually know what it is. And that's 3.16 that's gone in. And it's now 27th of May. Yeah. Booted up fine. As you can see. Let's go back to the other upgrade which is the one called DMR Upgrade. DMR Upgrade, you've got this FM file here. Hex file. 
run anyway. So browse, we'll find that file that's just there. Okay, watching my video and it, on the last time I did that, that was a chip file. So uh, and it's not, I'm not seeing a separate chip file. So I'm just gonna leave it as that. Now let's just read the, read the radio in the normal way. I'll go com. Port select is three, and then click yes, and then go read. Ah, right, we're reading. That's the plus sign. Go and have a look at the channels. Yeah, they all seem to be there. Channel ID. Hmm. This bit looks new, doesn't it? Do you reckon? This bit down here says channel ID. Let's double click one, go down to the next one. Let's try this one. This, what's this about? Channel ID that this is changing. What's that? Zones and contacts, receive group, encrypted FM radio. Hmm, what's all this? Yeah, I'm not really sure about it. I need to spend some time using it. Um, you see the screen there? If someone was, because I've got my hotspot on. All the, I would say that the contacts, where's all the contacts? Uh, no contacts where before we had all the contacts. Don't think I can load the old one back on, but normally I would have the contacts. So if we go to the top here, do we have to reload the contacts? So if you go to address book, this is where I used to do the contacts up here, address book, um, import or write, import CSV. Mm, let's set, there's one there, user two. There's all the contact. Let's go right. Ooh, something's happening. Well, if it lets you load the, the latest contact, that's got to be a good thing. Quite a long list. Back soon. I'll show you where to get the, the contact from. Go to radio, radioid.net. Then database, data dumps, and hit here USV C. Sorry, user CSV. And if you look here, it's number three. Um, so let's go back to our software. See how that's loading. And uh, still going. Now I'm seeing twelve thousand eight hundred twenty-four there. I'm not seeing one hundred fifty thousand. Or two hundred thousand. Well, anyway, I let it load, and if I'm not happy that the contacts that I like are all there, then what I'll do is I'll just um, reload the old, reload the old firmware and um, the old contacts. But let's let it finish. I'll come back with another video. Bye for now.